Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Talented, the action roguelike with a randomly generated talent tree that I'm excited to be back to here today. I was very curious to play more of this, you guys seem to be really into it, so I don't know if I'm doing a mini-series or anything on this, I just really wanted to play another round, because it's a very interesting game. And we've got a whole new class, there's obviously tons of unlocks for different things on that randomized skill tree that you can get, so the replayability is there, and I'm very curious. So, Wizard is the class we're going to be checking out today, uses powerful spells to decimate enemies, basic attacks can be weak, and instead of just having a number of charges in our abilities, we've got magic points, so like mana that regenerates over time. So let us go for the begin a run, mastery level, I guess we'll just go for, this is kind of like the ascension, I guess I'll go for that. We can pick between our abilities, fireball or cyclone. As we level up, we get more stuff to choose between. I'm going to grab just the fireball. I think, let's give it a go. In we shall go to see what it's about. And you know what? Yeah, let's go on uh, 1.25 speed here. Or 25, 2x. So, if you've not seen the game, it's pretty straightforward in the sense that we are going to be defending ourselves from these four directions. You know, simplistic in concept. But we also have spells as this character that we're going to be throwing out more often. It looks like we have our mana up there. And uh, yeah, the big thing that's kind of wild and unique about it is that we have a completely randomized talent tree. It's never going to be the same every, you know, each run. And it's just kind of a big part of the game. New enemy Lorges will now appear. So here we go. This is our unique talent tree. We can only see part of it right now as we explore through it. We'll unlock more and more stuff. Uh, what do we got? There's an experience upgrade that way. Increase max magic points. Maximum mana. Uh, sure. An attack speed into experience gain. That feels like a good place to start. Gives your abilities an additional 15% chance to crit. Abilities can crit, okay. On level up, you gain one basic attack damage until the end of the night. So, basically, when you've unlocked a certain amount of perks, you kind of can get a little bit of a glimpse at something deep within the tree. Okay. Do we care about that? Basic attack damage? I mean, yeah, probably, right? Whenever you level up. So we could go for, like, an experience gain kind of an angle. Do we want to throw out our fireball often? I don't know. Whoop. So them lorges, they, uh, they are indeed. They take quite a beating. So pop this. So, the Fireball definitely does some kind of AoE here. That much is clear. Easy enough. Enemies gain 35% more health. Uh, yikes. What else we got? There's a fire over here. Abilities can gain 25% bonus damage. I'll definitely get our spells can crit. Mana regenerate up by 10% seems like a no-brainer. Hmm. Do we go for this? I think we have to. So get an attack speed increase. Move our way there. Maybe we could get the experience gain up. Maybe we can get there up this way. We don't know yet. This clearly looks like it goes up there, but we just don't know. We don't know where this branch is off. Well, clearly there's like an attack speed here, but... Okay, we can't cheat. We can't cheat any more than that. Should I just fire off a, uh, a fireball at the first big enemy that I see? Probably. Since we get the mana regen. God, that... You're not kidding. Our, our basic attacks suck. They are bad. You know, we just played as the, uh, the archer or the ranger. I don't know what they call it in this. You know, fill in the blank. The bow person. And they definitely felt very strong. We're doing fine right now. We're going on, uh, I've made the game harder for myself by increasing the speed, but I think that's okay. Waves will contain an additional enemy. That definitely feels like attack speed would be helpful. On level up, you have a 15% chance to fire a random ability. I don't know if this even reaches.
I mean, at this point, sure, we already we already went for it. I think we have to go up this way. I don't know if there's a link between those or not. We can guess and assume that there is. I feel like health points are the last thing that I care about. You have a 15% chance on level up to fire a random ability without a mana cost. In other games, like on level up, you do this. It's not that exciting, but in this game, you level up quite a bit. You know, like it's not, it's not a rare thing. Hello. Hello, big boy. Oof. The fireball does not kill him, but it does set him on fire. Something we haven't gotten to see yet because uh, they've died. So one fireball does kill them if we hit them early enough. Oh, my. I, th I think that spell might have crit. Which, if so, kind of saved me from a hit here. So it only sets the initial target on fire. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, but yikes. Monches will now appear. You get five talent points. One. Okay, what do we... Eat? Magic missiles. At the start of each night, if you have at least one unspent talent point, you level up. That's super worth it. Because we can just... More or less, we can be one level behind and we gain a level up every single wave. So let's beeline there. I can't do this. Let's get an experience upgrade. I'll 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 consider going for that for sure. Like getting more. That was the uh, chance to crit, or is that the chance to cast the free spell? The chance to crit is, for whatever reason, it feels slightly better. I think it's just like the fact that it's a chance. On level up. Like, it's two conditionals. Uh-oh. This is no joke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Alright. I wish we could get a range up or something, but we're not the ranger. We don't got that stuff. At the very least, it's not on my tree yet. Maybe we can unlock it in the future? As you play more, you do unlock more options for your tree. Five talent points. Knights feel five seconds longer. On level up, you gain a basic attack damage until the end of the wave. This sure as hell seems like it's going to get us there. This brings us to the ability power damage up as well. What's this? If you've learned... If you've learnt four... Learnt? <laughs> Not learned. Learnt. Four abilities. Ability cooldowns are reduced by 20%. Your magic point regen is increased by 20%. Um, okay. That seems definitely workable. I want both of these. All right. I feel like it's worth to just throw that out a little bit. We may turn the speed, uh, the game speed down a bit in the future. So our basic attack damage is increased. We kill in two hits. Is that how it already was? If we start killing the eyeball boys in uh, in one hit, we know we've gotten somewhere. Okay. Wait. Let's. Okay. Okay. So near the end of the way, we actually get pretty strong. Interesting. So going for like a level up a lot strat. One, two, fire five magic missiles into random lanes, each dealing a damage. Ability damage also increases the number of missiles fired. So because of simple interest, we want to leave an unspent talent point. Yes. I want to see that pop up every time, which is funny. So we level up and we fired a random spell immediately. Okay. The fireball one-shot him. Should I fire off the missiles? Eh. It should help with us not getting um, overwhelmed from all sides. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Getting a little swarmed here. Getting itty bitty swarmed here. I feel like my biggest bottleneck right now, I feel like I need mana regen. Okay. We're one shot and stuff. We can get some kind of like piercing, that'd obviously be really good too. Enemies gain 35% more health. You gain eight talent points. Create an orb that permanently orbits you, dealing blank damage. I'm going to need to learn more spells. If we want to get full house in it to make sense. Cooldown. I don't need cooldown as much. Twenty-five percent more experience on kill with abilities. Okay, mana regen is a yes. Another arcane orb is a yes. Ability power damage. And we want, we want to stop on this. Reroll all nearby common and rare talent points to get and get one to six talent points. Learn a random nearby rare talent. Okay. Very cool. I like whatever the hell we're doing. These orbs should be good with our weird AoE problem that we have. Like, oh, wait. They, like, they seem legitimately pretty darn good. Yeah, the orbs seem incredible. And even with the enemy health increase, this is feeling right. I don't know, yeah, maybe Arcane Missiles is going to be better when we get, like, a lot more ability power. Of which there was, like, a pretty big section of it on the right of the skill tree. You'd think with Fireball being, our, like, our main thing and it being an AoE spell, we would have better AoE. <laughs> but no. Nine talent points. Enemy waves will now contain an additional enemy. Obviously sketchy. Should I grab this? I don't know. I'm not needing them to one shot more than uh, at this point. Like this feels like a really good econ play. One, two, I mean, I'll grab the health next night. Okay. I would love another one of the, uh, the interest gain things. They seem kind of busted to me. Can I get away with casting more spells? God, I feel like I need range so bad. my mana. My mana's at half. I could probably cast more spells than I think. My mana regen's getting okay. Alright, my standard attack is doing AoE, but it actually feels like it's doing some stuff now. Alright, I dig it. Mana regen feels right. Good, 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 good. Alright, I think we can spam more spells. I've been trying to conserve it until we need it, but we can't play this character like we played the, um, the, the ranger or whatever. Reroll nearby common and rare talents and gain one to six. How many do you, I'm at 11. For each ability learnt, increase experience gain. Oh God. I don't hate it. Straight flush is an idea. Create an orb that orbits you until the end of the night. Your orbs move closer for the next five seconds. I would love to explore out there. We have six. Learn a nearby random rare. Hey, that's nearby? Another... Oh, wait. Okay. Can we get another one? Four talents. One, two, three. Let's get this first. And then we'll grab the full house. 
There's the one ring. Yes, I understand the reference. Leave the one talent point. So it doesn't ask me about the, uh, the talent point thing anymore. Interestingly enough. Alright, I do feel like the, uh, my experience gain ploy has been starting to work out a little bit. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I'm able to cast a good amount of spells as well, like... Eh, and yet, I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. It's okay, as we get closer to the end of the wave, we're gonna get stronger and stronger. Yeah, that's been pretty integral to, uh, my success. Unsurprising that the epics are very good. Alright. I don't want to see what it looks like if an enemy gets to me. Mega blobs now appear. Knights feel five seconds longer. On level up, restore five health points. Not right now. Oh, this got changed. I could move my way to this. Okay, I, I know that I'm going to want this one. So what I'm going to do... I'll get the mana regen. I'll work my way by it and hope that when I grab it, I unlock... We got one talent point left. Good. When I grab it, hopefully it'll unveil something else. Oh, music getting wild. Spawn a new orb. Got a crazy wave. Oh, God, I wasn't even looking. I just literally wasn't even looking that way. Like a ding dong. All right, good. Spawn another orb. You got through the orb, you jerk. The orb, sh I'm, I'm hoping that they help me with the bats. They're my biggest issue right now. It's just a little dinky bat. Okay, it's doing something for the bats, but it's not that crazy. And I think we have absolutely enough mana regen to just spam our spells on cooldown. Okay. I mean, I want to make sure they hit a good target. But other than that... Cool. One thing made it in, that's fine. Enemies have 35% more HP and they feel slightly longer. The knights... Did that reveal... God, am I... Do I have to go to this? Increased experience granted by all experience floor gems on the floor. Does it mean for the whole floor, or does it mean just once? Because if it's just once, I don't care that much. This gets me there faster? Okay, stop there. Oh, that's what that was. We spammed that. We pressed that immediately. Gotcha. hoping that would have gone through to the back. I was hoping I was going to kill with the melee. Should we save the orb spell for when there are actually enemies in closer range? In my head, I'm like, I want to get just, I want to get the ability to use it as many times as possible. That's my thought. I don't remember these uh, slime enemies. It's, it's the bats, man. It's the freaking bats. If we really wanted to, we could slow down the game. And by slow down, I mean have it not be sped up. Okay. My mana regen is very sick. Is my mana regen not coming back? What the hell? Wow. I thought that arcane missiles at least homed in on a specific target, but no. 
It's literally random directions. Nine talent points, more health. They spawn more frequent. Okay, so both of those procced. Gain bonus ability damage for each ability alert. Okay, was there one of those over here that I didn't get? On level up restore five. Abilities crits. I think getting that now sounds good. We're on night 13 of 20. That was a pretty big jump for us, though. I think we want to next move towards uh, the one ring. Give us one to all of our combat stats. Gain experience with ability kills. Like, oh my god, I cringe because he's not going for this thing that synergizes with the build. That's the funny thing. It it all synergizes. It Everything is a good choice. And that's what I think is cool. Like, there's very few things where I'm seeing it. I'm like, that's a bad choice for right now, you know? That doesn't, it's not happening very much. I'm going to upgrade those. Okay, so those increased in value. I mean, we can cast that early. I, I suppose it's... I don't know. It's weird. I'm trying to figure out how good of a choice it is. Spend mana on that instead of something else. Oh, the bat. Snuck in. I mean, if I always have mana, it's obviously worth using. We don't always have mana. All right. Yeah, mana regen is indeed still something we want quite a bit of. But I feel pretty strong. It's just them bats. Cool. How many? 11 talent points. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm at six. What's that? Increase the experience gained by 10% and double the light provided by purchase sounds. That's very cool. It's better earlier. I'm going to leave my one... You leave my one point and go for this. Straight flush is very good. Even if for no other reason, then it just gives me more magic missiles. Because that helps solve some of the problems I have right now. I don't know when to do that. Alright. But we probably... We maybe should just beeline for mana regen. I think what we want to do is like go for like a magic missiles play fireball and then uh, we want to cast all of our spells at the same time like look at all that level up look at all that juice okay blast him thank you the orb on cast on level up there actually very handy and again look at that Oh, that was a terrible use of that spell. The fact that we can greed is surprising. Got plenty of level ups, though. There's a tiny little bat. Oh. Twelve talent points. We're grabbing that for sure. This isn't bad, it's just also... We're, we have five waves left. Getting the mana regen. There's mana regen up here. Simple interest. Oh, shoot. Wait. So we can... Oh, we can probably save... Can we save two now? Does it matter anymore? It probably matters. There we go. That's the way to use it. That right there is the way to use it.
We want to spam all of our spells at the same time and then use the uh, experience farm item. Item spell. There. That's that's the thing. Is it greedy? Yes. Is it effective? Also yes. Alright. More orb. More. In time. There, I made the joke. Now you don't have to. Boop, 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 boop. Don't think I need any more, but... Eh, I felt like that should have been made maybe a little bit better. I guess, like, if I really want to be optimal, I could wait until they get a lot closer to me. Thirteen trunks now appear. Enemies have 5% increased chance to be elites. So yeah, we want to leave two. Do I see any mana reach any? Oh, we have not grabbed that one. Bonus damage per learned ability is great. More mana regen. There's mana regen. Oh, there's a double pocket of mana regen. Fantastic. Abilities an additional chance to crit. So we want to save two. Does it work? If it doesn't, I'd be confused. It's hard to really know. I didn't, because I wasn't watching. Oof. Not as good as I would have wanted. Okay. The beginning of the wave is usually going to be the trickiest, so we definitely want to spam our abilities. We do have that little jump start now. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Spam, 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 spam. Yep. The mana was the plate. Absolute waste of that spell. Oh. They're getting nasty. They're getting nasty. I should slow it down. I don't want it, though. Okay, wait a couple seconds. All right, not bad. Yeah, these waves are definitely getting pretty long. That's what... Pop. All right, 12 talent points. Still, the fact that we're getting this far and we're, like, we're this far in the wave and we still are getting this many talent points is amazing. One second, though. All right. Whoop. Get the mana regen. Do I see any pockets of mana regen or, like, really good spells? I guess I could spend two to... Wow. Okay. That's daunting. Exceptionally daunting. I wouldn't mind an arcane orb. There's another simple interest, which I'm not going to go for at this point. I'm just looking for mana regen things that I'm close to. Good. We just, we got to spam. We might need to focus on cooldown now at this point. Oops. Oh, God. Oh, God. I bumbled it. I bumbled it. I bumbled it. I fumbled it. Yeah, are we bottlenecked by cooldown now? I think we might be. Huh. Alright. First part of the wave is over. Which I thought was going to be the toughest. Usually has been. Alright, right, let's turn the speed back to what it's supposed to be at. Whoop. 
Yeah, it feels a lot more manageable. Yeah, mana is not a concern anymore. We are... It's, it's always a dial to focus on, you know? It's just part of a bigger picture. We need cooldown now. For optimal. And then and when we do that, maybe we're going to be like, okay, now I need mana. It's just how it goes. Oh, shoot. Oh, I should have waited. Yeah. I beefed the extra experience there. We might only... Oh, nope, we have 14 levels. It's irrelevant. All right, so which one is cool then again? Is it the... It's the hourglass. We've got to have a million that we're by. Oh, my lord. Simple interest. It's too late to care about that. We'll get another orb. That works for me. Cool down. Cool down. I mean, the thing is, sure. What do we got up here? Learn a random nearby talent. I'll get heal on level up. I just don't care about max mana as much right now. Like, the thing is, if you can just have a lot of regen, your max mana is irrelevant. Just, it's just a thing. Okay, so where are some hourglasses? We're playing... <laughs> We're just playing a... A little search game. Where Where's Waldo? Or a Wally, depending on where you're at. Bet. Get more orbs. Yeah, cooldown feels way better. Now we'll take a look at that. Mana. Eh. Ow. Alright, big, big boy over there. That's a lot of XP coming in. Holy. Good spam. All right, mana regen is indeed back on the menu. It's actually, we have a, a pretty tight balance of it right now. But it's definitely in favor. I mean, I could just stop casting the experience gain thing. But the thing is, that isn't... It's like a damage increase at the same time. It increases my melee attacks, or my, you know, my standard attacks. Okay. But this next one's gonna be our final wave, I believe, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The spell it didn't count though. 17 talent points. Okay, no, we're on. Okay. Never mind. So we want like a little bit of a mix. Mana regen and cooldowns at this point. We could go for one of these abilities. How far am I from this? Eh. a couple cooldowns. Abilities have an extra chance to crit. Seems kind of nice. We got a cooldown and a mana regen in there. Attack speed and a mana regen. I'll get a, I'll get a damage. Why not too? Yeah. Got that one. Could explore up to that, I suppose. But it feels like we have to take a couple duds to get there. We want to leave it at three, because I think that this is not our final night. If it is, whatever.
Fire 25 magic missiles in a single ability use with the wizard achievement. Oi, oi. Starting to fire off a hell of a lot of them. Boy. Definitely feel like I'm having to do some uh, little jujitsu with my fingers here. All right, little orbs, mana cast. Way, way more spammy, like button pressy gameplay on this run than we had to deal with with the uh, the archer, of course. Let's wait a sec. I'm going greedy with it. Ah, not greedy enough. I feel like we lose if you get hit. You lose the um, experience combo though. Which ain't good. Fast bat. I'm kind of... I, I wonder. Because these runs are getting... It, I know that it's going to be end up being shorter, but it's probably has a lot to do with the fact that we sped up through the earlier part. Do the ascensions just increase the length of waves? Often? Oh, man, I thought you would die in one hit. Very cocky of me. All right, so we get to spend all of our ability points. I want this. Straight flush is just good. There's another straight flush down there. Ooh. What a section right there that was. Get a little bit of a cooldown. And is there a stray mana regen? Because I feel like I took more cooldowns then. That I am literally one point away from. I could also stop and then I get the level up right away. And that might not inherently even be worse. Attack speed's actually really good for us too. I'll just grab some attack speed. All right, so we're, we're not going to get the free level up immediately. That's right. It's not that it's bad music, it's just loud. All right. We do still care a little bit about level ups, but I don't know if I'll use the book as much. The book spell. Much less important to me. God, the fireball cooldown is crazy. Morbs. Morbs. Yeah, okay, we are losing mana. So I'm going to say no books. Not feeling like I need them at this point. Oh, my finger! <laughs> Alright, we can chill with the regen for a moment if we wanted to. Chill and let it regen for a moment if we want to. But let's just make sure our fireballs are cast well. How about that? I think we keep it up with the magic missiles. They are absolutely crucial. They've scaled so well. All right. Okay, we definitely got our mana back up, so we can we can start blasting fireballs again. Okay. Level up does give us some value. Just I, I saw so much on the ground there. I figured we might as well. Fine. Just since we're not tapping out of mana. This feels like the uh, least scary wave we've had. Maybe ever. That's pretty fun. Control 20 orbs as the wizard achievement.
Choose a talent package that will appear in your future runs. Grind them up. Level up faster, power up your attacks. Learn faster and bend the rules of the talent tree. That sounds interesting. Clear the screen with powerful abilities. Gain more orbs and power them up. Let's go for the power package. New core talent gain. Core talents can be chosen on the run startup screen. You can either increase your magic, ma uh, max magic points by 10, which is just one mana, or abilities get 50% bonus damage to enemies. That seems nuts. It seems unbelievably nuts. So we didn't unlock a new character, but complete the game on Master Level 3. But the thing is really curious, because if we go here... We've already got this, so there is like there is some some grind grind it meta progression. There is some. This is pretty crazy sounding. Fifty percent bonus damage. It seems unbelievably huge. It's probably it's got to be additive. It's got to be additive from your from your base. What's this about? What are you thinking about here? Huh. Waves will contain additional enemy. Dang, I mean, when this gets up to 25, what the hell is happening, you know? Very curious, but yeah. I don't know, we unlocked some extra stuff with the archer. I would not be opposed to playing more and seeing what else we got. We got explosive trap. We could try that out instead. There's maybe like a, a trap build angle we could take. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, maybe we'll play more. Maybe we will not. I don't know entirely what my plan is. It's based off of how excited you guys are. Based off of the time I have. I have other things I gotta cover. So, hey, let me know in the form of a comment down below if you want to see more of this. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.